The boom in plastic surgery just won't quit. Americans now get about 10 million cosmetic procedures a year. But for people who want to look their best without going for surgery, there are two new treatments which are getting remarkable results. And Claire Shipman here to tell us about it. George, good morning. We have to pay attention. We're getting to be that age now. <laughs> Three quarters of Americans, this surprised me, who opt for a cosmetic procedure go for the non-surgical kind now. And there are some new alternatives to two of the most popular surgeries, liposuction and a facelift. I've always been thin. I've never had a problem with my weight. And then all of a sudden, this belly fat started to appear. And she's also part of a growing movement, women eager to avoid cosmetic surgery. I don't want to go underneath the knife and Anastasia. So what is she doing? The hot new treatment, so to speak, freezing her fat away. It's so simple and pain-free, we're doing the interview during the treatment. Thing, it's like a vacuum, and that's exactly what it felt like. Once it's been on for a couple of minutes, you really don't feel anything. How long will you be here? I think about an hour. It's called Zeltique, a vacuum-like device pulls in those annoying bits around the middle and literally freezes them. The fat cells die a slow death over six to eight weeks, and according to Dr. Deborah Jalaman of Manhattan, the results are dramatic. It's incredibly popular. I mean, first of all, when people first hear about it, they think it's too good to be true. They can't even believe it. It's a gradual change because it went over, I guess, about six weeks, and I kept on looking and looking and going, I don't see anything, I don't see anything. But you're not going to see anything because you're seeing yourself every day. It wasn't until I saw the pictures that I realized how much belly fat was gone. It's the brainchild of Dr. Rox Anderson of Harvard University and Mass General, a laser specialist who spends most of his time removing debilitating scars and marks from children. He started puzzling about the effects of cold a few years ago. He put together two seemingly unrelated things, incidents where infants suck on popsicles too long and lose the fat in their cheeks, and the fact that butter, fat, hardens or freezes more quickly than a lot of other things, like skin. At this point, the technology is best suited for people with a bit of extra fat. People who are in good shape, uh, who have a healthy diet, they're exercising, and they have body fat distribution still that they're not happy with, they are the ideal candidates for this. It's not painful, it's not invasive, and yet it works. 